QR codes are nothing new in today's world. You probably see them everywhere. You may have used one to access a restaurant menu or drink menu. What you might not know is that they can be used for much more than just pointing people to a URL on the internet. QR codes can actually be used to serve up any input string result desired. Creating QR codes can be a little more difficult. Luckily, we've created a QR code generator tool for use as a resource to our users and partners. If you are watching this video in the ThinManager portal, you already have access to it under the Tools menu. If you're watching this video elsewhere, you can create an account for free to the ThinManager portal by navigating to the video learning on ThinManager.com. In the ThinManager portal, click on Tools and hover over QR codes. A menu will appear with options to view and manage your saved QR codes or create QR code. I will select Create QR Code. From here, you can see that you can enter any string value to store in a QR code. I will type in Demo Application and click Create QR Code. Now you can see our newly created QR code. You have the option to print the QR code by selecting Print QR Code, or you can take a screenshot if desired. You also can edit the code by selecting Edit. Now back under the Tools menu, you can select to view saved QR codes to see your code, edit, or delete it as desired. This tool is an easy way to manage all the QR codes you might use in your ThinManager configuration. Now let's look at setting up a resolver in ThinManager for using a QR code. In ThinManager, navigate to the Manage menu of the top ribbon bar. You will see a section labeled Resolvers and you want to select Manage Resolvers, you can see that I have several in my configuration. I will select Add to open the Add New Resolver wizard. I'll start by giving my new resolver a name. I will name it Demo App QR. We can give it a description. This is helpful when adding many QR codes or resolvers in your configuration. For type, we will select QR code. And for data, we want to match exactly what will be read from the QR code we created. We use Demo Application. Now we simply click OK. We can click OK to close the Manage Resolvers window as well. Now that we have the resolver in ThinManager, we need to decide what we want to do with it. First, let's look at simply serving up a piece of content assigned to the QR code. This is a great way to visualize something needed at that moment where a QR code can be placed. Something like a motor schematic or instructional PDF, your QR code can be placed on a piece of machine and assigned all the documentation for that machine. In ThinManager, we want to find and select locations from the left side tree pane. We want to create the location that our QR code will represent. Right click on locations at the top and select add location. This will open the location configuration wizard. Let's give our location a name. Let's call it main motor. Using the next button, we can navigate past the location options, past the login requirements and to the display client selection window. Here we can choose the display client owned by our location. Let's select the pack motor schematic from our RDS display clients. Clicking next again brings us to our Windows login information. I'm going to use the search button to select one of my Active Directory users. Once I've selected my user, I simply want to verify the, the credentials. Successfully verified. I can click OK and click Next once again. Now we need to assign our QR code. Click Add. From the Resolver Name dropdown, I'm going to choose Demo App QR Code, or Demo App QR, that we previously added. Now we can choose the action we want when our code is scanned. The Action menu gives us several choices of how we want our content to behave. Clone spins up a new session of the location visualization. Force Transfer takes the session from the location, such as a tethered terminal. We will show that next. Transfer will take the session, but prompt the user using that terminal to grant permission for that transfer. 
Shadow and view only shadow are exactly what they say. They are simply shadowing the content of that location, either giving you interactive permission or not. Last, no action is only identifying the location without an action. This is primarily used for securely using geofencing to gate content. We're going to choose clone and start a new session once we scan our QR code to receive the assigned content. Click OK and lastly, click Finish. Now let's mirror my iPad on screen. You can see that my iPad using ITMC has the display client assigned to it. I will select Scan ID and scan our QR code that we created. As expected, we are presented with our motor schematic just as we configured. If we stop mirroring the iPad, you can see in Thin Manager now that our iPad is connected and at our location of main motor. Now I'd like to show you a force transfer. I will select Leave on ITMC on the iPad, and you will see in Thin Manager that the location immediately leaves the iPad terminal and the motor schematic is no longer being served. An important thing to remember when dealing with locations is that the content being shadowed, cloned, or transferred lives with the location. So if we have a tethered terminal, instead of assigning the content to the terminal, we want to assign it to the location and assign the location to the terminal. That will identify that the location is that terminal. In Thin Manager, navigate on the left side tree pane to Terminals. I'm going to double click my 6300T tethered terminal to open the terminal configuration wizard. Using the next button, we will navigate to the display client options window. We'll remove the desktop display client that is currently assigned to the terminal. Again, using the next button, we will navigate to the location options. Here we will select the change button under assigned location. This will allow us to choose our main motor location. Now we will select finish. Now before we restart our terminal, let's make our changes to our location. Again, from the left side tree pane, select locations and double click to change the configuration of our main motor location. Using the next button, let's navigate to the resolver selection screen. We want to edit our demo app QR resolver. We are going to change the action from clone to force transfer. Click OK and then click finish. Now we want to restart our terminal to have our changes take effect. From or back at the Terminals tab, we can right click on the 6300T and select Restart Terminal and then click Yes. Once our terminal restarts, we will see that it now shows the terminal is assigned the location of main motor. If we shadow our terminal, you can see that it displays the motor schematic that we have assigned to that location. Now, when we scan our QR code, it will now force transfer the motor schematic to the iPad using ITMC. And on the 6300T tethered terminal, we are left with a message clearly showing that the session has been transferred away from the terminal. You can see my iPad now has the schematic on screen. If I choose leave in ITMC, the session instantly goes back to the tethered terminal. QR code resolvers in Thin Manager are a powerful way to present and secure your content in your environment. Coupling our resolver technology can even create geofences to increase the security of these actions. Watch our video on Bluetooth resolvers to learn more about how you can add this amazing functionality to your Thin Manager installation and to learn more about QR codes and mobility in Thin Manager, visit thinmanager.com.